Welcome to Around the World Channel. COVID-19 lockdowns could drop carbon emissions to their lowest level since World War II. But the change may be temporary, CNN. CNN, as predicted, carbon dioxide emissions have declined during the COVID-19 pandemic. But if past crises are any indication, the environmental gains may be short-lived. Ahmad Arbery case, 2017 video emerges of Georgia cops trying to tase victim, Fox News. Ahmad Arbery, the Georgia jogger who was gunned down by a father and son with ties to local law enforcement, was the target of a police officer in 2017 who tried to tase him in a park after accusing him of smoking marijuana, a newly released video shows. Missouri police sued for beating black woman, her son at a Sam's Club, NBC News. A 68-year-old black woman in Missouri is suing four white police officers claiming that she and her son were injured when officers threw them to the floor of a big box store on the false accusation that they had stolen a television. Annie Glenn, wife of late astronaut and U.S. Senator John Glenn, dies of coronavirus, NBC News. Columbus, Ohio Annie Glenn, the widow of astronaut and U.S. Senator John Glenn and a communication disorders advocate, died Tuesday at age 100. Glenn died of COVID-19 complications at a nursing home near St. <laughs> Belmont Stakes to be held June 20 at shorter distance, ESPN. The Belmont Stakes will take place June 20 without spectators and will be shortened from its traditional length of one and a half miles to one mile, the New York Racing Association announced Tuesday. Medical Journal says Trump is factually incorrect about when it first published coronavirus reports, CNN. CNN, the prestigious medical journal The Lancet on Tuesday fact-checked President Donald Trump over an allegation he made in his letter to the World Health Organization threatening to permanently cut U.S. funding as the world is still fighting coronavirus. Southwest says new bookings now outpacing cancellations, a pandemic turning point, CNBC. Southwest Airlines said Tuesday that new bookings are outpacing cancellations, a turning point in the coronavirus pandemic that has devastated air travel demand. Microsoft's new fluid office document is Google Docs on steroids, The Verge. Microsoft is creating a new kind of office document. Instead of Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, the company has created Lego blocks of office content that live on the web. Walmart Q1 e-commerce sales surged 74% as company shuts down Jet.com, acquired for 3.3 b in 2016 ZDNet. Walmart said that its first quarter e-commerce sales were up 74% due to grocery pickup and delivery and added that it is discontinuing Jet.com, which was acquired in 2016. Nordstrom is now selling cloth face masks for just $4 in style. Tracking down a reusable fabric face mask that's also comfortable and affordable has felt like an indoor goose chase. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for upcoming news.